Mercer. This is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. You play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? I'll let that comment go because you're new here. Ask things out of turn again and we have a problem. Now, are we clear on all of this? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. Claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So, let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Since Brynjol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Bex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Ripton we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the Fourth Era in prison. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners.
This better be important. I'm quite busy. I'd like to know why you're wasting time asking about it when you should already be on your way. A word of advice. Don't disappoint me. Wanted to say something. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here, me included. Just wanted to let you know. I used to live in Valenwood, working at my father's winery. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips, I promise you. We were doing well. Plenty of coin, a huge mansion, and I was even betrothed to a lovely young woman. Because it was dull. Every day was the same boring routine. Working at the winery, social visits with friends, parties with no one I cared about. I just wanted a little excitement. Something dangerous. I hooked up with a guild in Valenwood. I think they called themselves the Silver Crescents. Spent quite a few years doing jobs for them. Made a lot of coin, but I didn't care. I didn't really need it. I was running with them because it fit, made me feel alive. Well, after a while, my father caught on to what I was doing. He confronted me one night and gave me a choice. Either leave Valenwood, or he'd have me thrown into jail. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I'd made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. I used to live in Valenwood, working at my father's winery. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips, I promise you. If you need marksman training, and you've got the coin, I'm ready to teach you. The honey they collect on that hunk of rock goes into making Blackbriar mead, just about the best tasting mead in all of Skyrim. If talking your way out of trouble isn't enough, you could always pick up some training from Delvin, Vex, or Vipper. Also, I recommend hitting the training room if you need lockpick practice. Helped me out of a jam more than once. If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me.
interest you in some marksman training. Say something to you. Pull up a chair, my friend. This is quite a tale. When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild or being a thief. I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living either. With my lock picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking and made a great deal of gold doing it too. It's where a client pays you to get arrested get thrown into a prison for the express purpose of breaking out. Usually it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to... well, to kill someone on their behalf. Either way, the trick was in the escape, and that's where my strengths came in handy. Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. No guild to back you up. I do jobs for the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I was on my own. The last jailbreak I attempted failed. I was imprisoned in High Rock for three years before they let me go. After that, I promised myself I'd never do it again. I don't know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would bring me more wealth as a thief rather than an assassin. Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I guess I wanted to play it safe. I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. Some other time, perhaps. things to do than disturb me. Interest you in some marksman training. You're making waves around here. I like that. I wouldn't bother smacking at those hives with a weapon. Set them on fire. And they'll go up like kindling. It was on a job a few years back. It was supposed to be a simple burglary on a house in Windhelm. I was working with Vex, and we got inside with no trouble. We found the loot and made our way out. Well, it was, up until the point where we set foot outside. The house was surrounded by town guard. The client had ratted us out. Vex just tells me to run. So I did. Half of them went after me, the other half went after her. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Vex lost them in seconds. Once she steps into the shadows, she vanishes. Me? I ran. And I ran. Straight through the gates of Windhelm. And all the way back to Riften. Vex was waiting for me at the flagon when I came in, drenched in sweat. Everyone just took a look at me and laughed. Well, I had forgotten we had our horses tied up just outside the Windhelm. Vex rode hers back and arrived hours before I did. So, that's how I earned the name. Now keep it to yourself. Up 
to no good, are we? I'll teach you, but it'll cost you. Let me know. If you need marksman training, and you've got the coin, I'm ready to teach you. Yes? are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. Breed your fight. Let me guess. So you're the new recruit, they huh? Just you up the street. Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. Which way is up? Am I right? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. A bit of this and a bit of that.
Well, you could always speak to Delvin or Vex if you're looking for extra work. Or if you're looking for training, we've got plenty of it down here. Delvin, Vex, Nerowin, and Vipper can give you a leg up on that. Now, if you'll excuse me. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to Before me. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Are you kidding me? Ever since the guild's luck turned sour, we haven't had a coin to our name. And when the coin dried up, that's when people started to leave. We had the best of everything down here. The Ratway was a damn palace. The only way this place will ever return to its glory days is if we can finish these extra jobs and start the gold flowing again. The Flagon was once a city beneath the city. We had our own smith, our own alchemist, you name it. If we can make a name for ourselves in Skyrim once again, I can almost promise you those merchants would return. Best of all, we'd have enough gold to throw around so we could start living in the lap of luxury again. All right. But if you get arrested, don't blame it on me. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. One of the quickest ways to make some coin in Skyrim is to clear out some of the wealthier homes of their valuables. If you're interested, I could point out a good place that could use a little... house cleaning. What do you say? Alright, take this and get out of here. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Lying to my face isn't going to win you any favors with me. I can promise you that. On the other hand, taking some of these extra jobs off my hands, now, that'll get you to the top of my list. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. Look. I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. 
Something out there is pissed drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around out here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goff Hire to train killers. Just ask our poor little Vex. I had all the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If breakings are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Your job will be to change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing. Finally, someone with backbone. Here you go. All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. So, you're bringing your Back with good today. news, I trust? Don't look like hm. much to me. Yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. It's a lot smarter than I expected. Good luck. All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. Hey, hey! I want to talk to you. Now. You're pretty tough. I respect that. I joined up with them maybe ten years ago. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans. But it was always about the killing for them. Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. No, we usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. Always a pleasure. Yeah, I guess I have a minute. What do you want? <laughs> 